Android Apocalypse, a made for sci-fi channel movie. I didn't realize those went all the way to 2006 before the asylum just took over. Um, so definitely TV production values. And if anything, it tells me that I never really want to visit uh, Saskatchewan in Canada. If I didn't think there was really any kind of desolate wasteland in Canada that wasn't covered with snow. This film proves me wrong, but so it's a, um, kind of a slog. Um, I mean, there's action, but it's so poorly choreographed. It just barely registers with you. And once you get rid of Chris Jericho, it's kind of lost all interest to me. Sorry, Joey Lawrence. So the film's about uh, Scott Barristow and uh, Joey Lawrence's relationship. Joseph Lawrence, according to the bill on this, pardon. And it's basically, oh, geez, I'm sorry, I can't come up with the names, but your typical two guys stuck together. One's an android who's destined to be repaired, quote unquote, and uh, one is a convicted android murderer. So it's okay to kill people as long as they don't serve a purpose to society, I guess is the lesson in the future. And as they're trying to run away from the authorities tethered to each other, the android wanted to be human, the human just wanted to go on with his life. Uh, they're, as you say, being chased down by the prison that they're supposed to be sent to and actually serve as specimens in an attempt to replace all humanity with androids. So it's actually probably good background noise. I mean, it was a made for sci-fi channel movie, so I can't say that it's too painful except well, then you just think about everything that's made for TV movies in the uh, Nazis and the 90s were. And you get flashbacks. So don't recommend looking for this title, regardless if you're a Chris Jericho completist. Just uh, if it's on accidentally, hey, it's not going to be too bad. As I say, just don't go looking for it. It, that way, it might just be a surprise little treasure for you. That's how Dolph Lundgren's Men of War ended up with me.